Hey guys, so after about a year in the making, I have a ribbon dress pattern, and this pattern evolved. So the story is, Threads Magazine had this technique, and I love, love, love Threads Magazine. Just a side note, it's an absolute incredible value and, and just wealth of information. And so I check on their site, I try to regularly as, as, I, as I can, I'm limited on time, but I love their stuff. And I found this technique that they had on their site called the floating taffeta bands. Isn't that exciting, Daisy? And this was talking about, it was like a based on a 1920 wedding dress that they had found somewhere. And they had taken this wedding dress and explained how they would create this technique. Okay, so they used taffeta as the, as like the ribbon, I'm going to call that the ribbon, the thing that actually makes the curves. Um, you can do this on a number of different materials, but they used taffeta and they recreated this 1920s wedding dress and showed how to do the technique. Well, I was just like, this is, this is not. Okay, so I need to try this. So back when Daisy was a baby, I made an A-line dress and I did uh, a bunch of different, um, a bunch of number of curves on that thing. And I used silk um, dubagnone. I know I'm mispronouncing that. That's okay. So I used that and it was gorgeous. And I used silk tulle on it, although looking back, silk tulle is a bit of a delicate fabric for babies. So um, just a word of caution there. But I just thought it was gorgeous, okay? And it got my mind like just sort of spiraling into this like, well, what else can I do? And then so then before I knew it, I had a diaper dress. I had another, two other little dresses from it, like a white version. And I had a, um, like a pinkish corally color on, on silk um, charmeuse. And I just, I just was like, okay, what else can I do? So I did a bonnet and I did bloomers and the bloomers went, went, went with the diaper shirt. And it was just like, okay, this is really cool. And then, you know, got sidetracked a little bit with the business and other projects and things. And then I was expecting Everly, our fourth and, and final baby. And I was like, okay, let's get back to this ribbon thing because this is your final baby. I really love this ribbon dress. And I was like, let's do it into a circle skirt, right? Let's just keep going into this rabbit hole. So I did it into a circle skirt and love that. And all along the way of doing all these various looks, I was like experimenting with the technique of actually putting these curves onto the garment, okay? So I started with doing it like to the T that Thread Magazine explained, which does work fine. Do you got something to say? And then I kept on going and I thought, I thought, well, are there other things? Are there better? Daisy. Mm -mm. I thought, are there other ways to do this? Like, can we expand on this? Can we use different materials? So I experimented with different materials, you know, I started with the, with the bias bands of fabric, which worked beautifully, but then I thought, can you actually use ribbon? Can you use other things? Can you, and I want to do this again with a bunch of different other stuff. I want to do this again with, you know, lace insertion and sequins and beads and embroidery. It's like, once I no longer have a baby touching me all the time, I'm going to go back to this thing, but I digress. So all along the way, I'm learning different techniques. Um, Threads Magazine recommends to use Friedel paper, which I love the technique. No technique is in and of itself like 100% perfect, okay? There's pros and cons to everything. So that's why I explored other things. And when I did the circle skirt, I ex first was like, oh, well, I'll do the freezer paper. And I tried that and I had this huge mound of freezer paper before I knew it. And it was like, this is not going to work. <laughs> this is just like, it, it just ballooned up everywhere. So next plan, right? I try just tracing onto it. Hindsight is 2020. I look back and I'm like, what was I thinking just tracing onto it? Well, I love this make of the full on circle skirt. You can see that the curves, do you mind closing that door? You can see that the curves got all out of whack. Like I said, I still love this garment. I am one of those people that I will just dive into it. And I'm almost, I almost do it to a fault, okay? There's other people who are afraid to do something because it won't be perfect. I am the exact opposite. I just want to, I want to do it. I want to learn. I want to get my hands in it. And sometimes you just end up with things like this and you're like, well, it's still pretty, but I wish I would have known to just eyeball it. That's what I did on this, on my last circle skirt as I traced the first couple curves and then I eyeballed the spacing for the rest of them. You could also use some sew-line glue pin or some pins if you're not comfortable with eyeballing it, but I would highly recommend do not trace it, do not trace it. And I go into details on the construction video. So 
Anywho, so the, this is, I'm trying to explain this is a, an evolution of this pattern and it's here now and I'm really excited about it, but it is not for the faint of heart. It's not for the beginner. It's a little bit of a make it work situation and depending on what, where you want to go with it, what you're using with it, you kind of need to know, it's a little bit of a chess game and you kind of need to know how the pieces move. Do you know what I'm saying? So last but not least, I have made a huge, I hope, improvement to shipping. I have done around 400, 500 orders that are just patterns and book orders. And I did, a, I actually did a test run of my first pattern to farmhouse just to like, how did it ship? How did it arrive? Was it smudged? Was it bent up? And it arrived in really great shape. So I just went on to shipping patterns. And I heard from one person in all of these orders that their pattern came back um, a little less than desirable and I sent out another one and that arrived fine but I do want to make an improvement because I figure there might be other people who haven't said something so we have updated I hope a huge, huge improvement to our shipping with patterns and books and we are using a cardboard type box still wrapped in tissue and um, yeah I always want to hear feedback right if things aren't right I want to know I by no means slap stuff together so I appreciate that um, and here is the ribbon dress Go check out this video on the construction of the dress, and we're going to have to take a nap. A nap. A nap. Thanks, guys.